everybody, this is Sam Kelly with Twin Hawks Survival and Bushcraft and I just wanted to show you today my back porch workshop. So hopefully this short video is just going to encourage you to be creative with the space you have and uh, not let the limitations of your space um, discourage you with being creative and, and building things. So uh, I do a lot of different things in this workshop. I build self bows. I carve spoons, I do leather work, I flint nap, all these different things, uh, and store my tools and, and other camping gear, etc. Just on my back porch here. So, gonna give you a quick walkthrough and show you a few of my tools and hopefully inspire you to uh, keep being creative with the space that you've got. So. so, first, I'm just gonna give you a view from kind of back on the other side of the porch. I really only use half of it. Uh, but anyways, you can kind of see it's a bit of a mess, but been working in it. Uh, got some bushes on that end to kind of give some privacy from, uh, there's a driveway over there in the road. Uh, this kind of gives blocks of sunlight and gives a nice environment to work in. Kind of makes it feel a little more closed in. And then screened in, so keeps the bugs and stuff away. Uh, the lights up there, just some outdoor uh, light string that my wife got for me. Helps in the evenings if I'm working late on a project, gives a little extra light. Really like that. Um, plus, I think they just look cool. Uh, so I'm going to move up a little closer and show you some of my uh, some of the stuff on the wall on the workbench here. All right, so on my wall here, I've got my Osprey backpack, some rope, uh, just kind of hanging up there, making use of some wall space, keeping it up out of the way. And then over here, I've also got just a life jacket hanging up off the rafter. And then my coyote skin hanging on the wall there. Kind of decorative, but I also use that sometimes for picture taking or uh, doing events and stuff and laying out some of my stuff that I've made. And it just kind of keeps it up off the out of the way and keeps it clean up on the wall. And then some bow staves here. Mostly Osage is what I've got right now. I uh, don't have a great place to keep those except for here. So I don't keep many of them. And also, just uh, they can be in the way sometimes. But I got these two bow staves as well. They're a little further along in the process. All right, let's move on to the workbench. This is what I call my workbench, which is actually a box jump I made for working out. But I turned it over because, unfortunately, I didn't use it as much as I thought I would. And uh, it became my workbench. So I just screwed this uh, one by here on it and then added my um, vise to it. And it's a really nice little table for me to work at. And then I just have a seat right here that I can sit at. All right, here are some of my tools that I use mainly. I've got my rasps, um, my chisels, my uh, tool roll here with my carbon knives in it, crook knives, um, draw knives over here, just a few odds and ends that I use. These are some of the things I use the most. Okay, then moving on to the right side over here. That big black crate is really nice. I can put that even outside in the rain and it keeps things dry, but basically that's for all my camping gear, uh, tents, mats, hammocks, whatever I've got in there. Uh, just all my camping gear that I want to keep nice and clean and it really does a good job of protecting it. Uh, and then I'll, I also use that as a work surface on top of it while it's sitting there in storage. Then on top of it I've got my tool kit here this thing is pretty handy because I it's kind of a mess right now and I may do a video on it later uh, just in detail but it has all kinds of different tools for all kinds of different projects in it and the good thing about it is is I can take it with me and do work uh, while I'm in other places I carry my carbon tools and my scissors and my sewing stuff and uh, all the different things that I need can go in that uh, tool pouch. I've got stuff for making arrows and, and all that good stuff. So it's kind of a portable 
uh, kit, and I really like that. But while it's not being transported, it sits here and holds most of my tools in it, and uh, kind of dual purpose there. Flint napping stuff. Got some rock there. Uh, then some more storage over here. That's pretty much all this is. A couple more bow staves. For so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, nothing grand or glorious. It's just a nice little workspace that gets the job done. A couple more things here. The foam mat underneath everything is really handy uh, for just protecting the floor underneath and uh, having things set on and uh, just gives a level of protection for the porch floor as well as a, a nice soft space for me to stand on if I need, need to stand on it. Uh, but this is just some foam matting, foam mat stuff that comes from Walmart and it just kind of fits together. Uh, and these, these are like different squares that uh, fit into a larger mat. All right, everybody, so that was a quick rundown of my workshop, back porch workshop. Hopefully it was helpful to you, inspiring. Uh, if you have any recommendations on what to do with a small uh, workshop space, just let me know. Uh, you can leave a comment below. Uh, like, subscribe. Until next time, keep adventuring.